we're talking changes, changes in that forecast that are going to bring us warmer air over the next few days and probably the next couple of weeks. We have seen this pattern all winter long with that northwest jet stream, but that's changing. This weekend, we're going to see that jet stream come more out of the Pacific Ocean. We call that zonal flow, and that will actually bring in the warmer Pacific air masses versus the Arctic air masses we've been experiencing. And Climate Prediction Center is showing that all of the country will experience this warm up through the next week also. So not only through this week and the next week, but probably into the third week of March. Low temperatures last night were chilly. 20 below zero in Rhinelander, nine below in Wausau. This is very cold for this time of the year. Seven below zero Green Bay, five below in Madison, and only three in Milwaukee. Matter of fact, that three in Milwaukee is the in the top five coldest record uh, low temperatures for this date. So uh, we weren't the coldest, but in fifth place. All right, temperatures uh, right now around the evening uh, hours will be around 9 in Waukesha and Watertown, 13 in Milwaukee, 10 Racine, 14 in Port Washington. And you can see those temperatures dropping already into the single digits by the morning hours. We'll see zero for a morning low. Green Lake, Beaver Dam, and also Watertown, 4 in Waukesha, 6 in Milwaukee, and about 4 in Port Washington. Through the evening hours, if you're going out, uh, wind chills will be below zero. And by the morning hours, they'll be anywhere from about 5 and 10 below zero. But as those winds continue to kick in from the southwest and they will be breezy, we'll see wind chills back up into the teens or right around 20 degrees. So the skies have cleared out. That's going to allow the heat to escape to space tonight. And that means another cold night. Not as cold as last night, but still rather chilly. But that also means we'll see some sunshine. Uh, with the extensive clear uh, cover uh, and lock, lack of cloud cover, we'll see that for tomorrow. So high pressure keeps us sunny over or clear overnight tonight, sunny for tomorrow. And then by midday, those clouds roll in with the warmer air and windy conditions that will start the warm up. Might even see a flurry under the clouds, but nothing more than that. And on Saturday, as the mild air continues to push in again, you could see an isolated flurry or two tonight. Mostly clear, cold, zero inland, six in the city. Uh, tomorrow we start the warm up up to 30 degrees on strong southwest winds, increasing clouds. And again, small chance of a flurry. It would not amount to anything tomorrow night. Not as cold. Temperatures will stay in the mid 20s, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the west at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then on Saturday, warmer still breezy. And uh, we're going to see partly to mostly cloudy skies hang in there. And that generally happens when you have warm air pushing in 38 is your high on Saturday. 38 also on Sunday. We're going to see partly to mostly cloudy skies once again. And then here comes the 40 starting on Monday. Uh, some sunshine, 40 degrees. Tuesday, we're in the mid 40s with partly cloudy skies, partly cloudy 47 on Wednesday, still 40 degrees Thursday.